So there's some pretty ridiculous, I would call it drama, but it's it's kind of like screwed up. There's some pretty ridiculous copyright strike abuse going on at the moment. So effectively, I'm gonna give you a breakdown. I'll show you some more information about it. We'll talk about kind of the nuance of it, but effectively there is a company called Supercell, the company that owns Clash of Clans, which you're probably familiar with, fairly large, one of the first like major mobile games that really did very well. And they are using the copyright strike system in order to shut down YouTube channels that are saying negative things about their games. Now, I've been in the mobile games before for years. I know on the occasion you'll get a company that can get really upset about negative opinions and they go out of their way to try to silence those opinions. But copyright strike on YouTube, on a platform that is someone's major livelihood is a major deal. Every single time that people are abusing copyright strikes, it becomes a pretty major talking point on YouTube. You see a lot of people talking about this because every YouTuber knows that the copyright strike system is an ultimate nuclear bomb that you really do not use in just to because you disagree with somebody. And so we're gonna kind of talk about what's going on a little bit here and talk about uh, why it's so terrifying for the YouTubers within the Supercell situation. I'm gonna show you just a quick segment of Eric from One Hive, he's a content creator about Supercell, uh, about Clash of Clans games. I'm just gonna show you a quick segment from his video here. Okay, here you go. He's gonna break down some information about this. A week leading up to Tuesday, April 9th, just two months ago, we can see that the Clash of Clans team issued copyright strikes against the content creator known as Time to Clash. He was a Clash of Clans esports commentator, just like myself. He streamed every day onto YouTube and to Twitch majorly supporting Clash of Clans esports and uh, largely a positive contributor to the community. And even if they didn't think he was a positive contributor to the community or not, that's irrelevant because they abused the copyright system and took his channel down entirely. So he goes on to explain this. I guess there's some drama related to Clash of Clans right now. I'm not a Clash of Clans expert. What I am not really an expert on, but what I can tell you is I'm a YouTuber. And what I understand is that in mobile games in particular, because my history is actually, I'm from mobile games. I covered mobile games for like four years before I got into PC games on YouTube. And in my experience with this, uh, drama or or opinions related to the game is something that happens very often in mobile games. Hell, we've even seen in D4 with the D4 bad memes, okay? So very often there's people that send feedback. On the rare occasion, there will be a company that or a particular community manager or something that gets very upset with people sending feedback and will use systems like these in order to silence this type of feedback, which is a very big no-no. And what they did in particular here is he goes through this list. I'm not gonna play this whole video because he gets into some more of like the Clash of Clans related issues. But if you look through this, they didn't just copyright strike a couple of these, they copyright struck like 20 of his videos. The only reason you would do that is to try to get three of them to stick in order to get the channel completely terminated. Eric makes the point in the video that they've actually been trying to silence negativity internally from these Clash of Clans creators for years is what he says. But then they go on to do something which is even more wild. They went into his Discord. These are the Clash of Clans, like community managers, went into his personal Discord and then went back as far as 200 days to find things to report to try to close down that Discord community. So this is effectively, I mean, let's, let's just go worst case scenario, since I'm not an expert in the community. Let's say this time to clash guy is the worst piece of shit imaginable on YouTube. That still really doesn't give this company the right to copyright strike all 20 of those videos to then go into his personal discord and basically have a vendetta against this guy to try to close them down. One thing that basically every YouTuber can agree on is that doing these copyright strikes as a company against somebody just as a punishment for your feelings on the game is absolutely ridiculous. Now, there's more to the story. I did a little digging in the subreddit and even Eric's video here talks about how there's some issues that the company is having relating to like letting certain people go off of either teams or moving people around on rosters and some other Clash of Clans related stuff that I'm not really gonna get into in this video because in my opinion, it's not really relevant. I'm gonna stick to what I think is a blatant abuse portion of this, which is 20 video copyright striking in order to terminate somebody's channel is absolutely crazy when you are a company targeting a smaller YouTuber that has like 20,000 subscribers. 
Now, after I dug through the subreddit, there's a lot of people talking about where this started. I guess effectively somebody was removed from a team. Uh, they say he was illegally kicked from a team. Eric sided with that person saying they shouldn't have been kicked from the team, et cetera. People get mad, so they're starting to kick people out of the program. I see a lot of discussion around that, which in my opinion is not even the main point of this. As a, as a YouTuber, my main point of looking at this is I see somebody who just basically got their their source of income, their their livelihood, their job removed unfairly with a copyright strike punishment based system just because of criticism of the game. You're allowed to go up there and show a game on YouTube and you're allowed to talk all the shit you want about that game. I've done that many times for many mobile games. I even have a whole series back in the day called How Bad Is It? where I would just pull up random mobile games and be like, this game is fucking dog shit. And that's what I love about YouTube. You can actually do that, okay? The, it, you can't just as a company be like, I don't like that they called it dog shit and then just strike the person's channel down. So there's a lot of discussion related around the team and Eric getting kicked from the content creator program because of, of the issues that they have with him speaking up against the team stuff. I, I actually just don't care about that at all. Like the part that I'm looking here is the absolutely insane thing that people are not focusing on, which is a company literally using copyright strike abuse to just make smaller YouTubers disappear. This is the part that's the problem. 20 copyright strikes on YouTube. This is the other part that's the problem. Purposely going into the dude's Discord after they removed him off YouTube to try to get his Discord banned. That's ridiculous. And a lot of the subreddit here seems to be kind of getting lost in the conversation around who's right about who getting kicked from what team, when I actually don't think that's the main point for this at all. Everyone involved in this conversation, no matter who you agree with, with the interior workings of the pro sports scene, everyone in this conversation is a YouTuber in which all of your livelihood depends upon your YouTube channel. If you are saying that it is acceptable for a company to be able to close you down entirely on a completely different platform that they do not own, just because they do not like your opinion, that threatens all of you. So I think that that is like probably one of the most ridiculous actions we've seen. This is basically what Nintendo got all that flack for. Oh, you have our Donkey Kong Country song? You're getting copyright struck. It's crazy to me that copyright strikes are still being used as like a punishment from companies and it's 2024 now. I thought this would have all been settled a while ago, but it's literally still out there and happening. So that's the big drama currently going on in the Clash of Clans and Supercell community at the moment. And that's about it. I'll see you.